Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily insert your Bitmoji into your Gmail. Since this past spring, teachers everywhere have gotten caught up in the Bitmoji craze, using these fun cartoons in their Google Classrooms and their slides. Using these Bitmoji cartoons are a really fun and engaging way to bring some life to your lessons. And today, I'm going to show you how you can easily add these Bitmojis into your Gmail. So when composing a new email in Gmail, this is what the bottom of your Gmail normally looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Chrome Web Store and find the Bitmoji extension. I've put a link to this extension in the description below. So let's click add to Chrome and we're going to add extension. You'll then have to log in either with your Snapchat or your email address or password. If you don't have a Bitmoji and you're interested in it, you can download the Bitmoji app on your cell phone and create your avatar there. And you'll see now when I refresh my Gmail, it'll say Bitmoji for Gmail is ready to go. We've added your avatar to the compose bar. Simply click on it to insert a Bitmoji into any email. So we'll click got it. Then we'll go to compose and you'll notice now at the bottom, there's a new insert Bitmoji icon. So when I click in the body of my email, I can select insert Bitmoji. You can search for something specific up here in the search bar, or you can go down here at the bottom and you can find the different categories. Once you find one that you want to use, you can simply click on it and it will insert it right into your email. And just like any other picture, you can click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And you'll see I just put a little bit of text in there so you can see what that looks like with it all together. And I know right now teachers everywhere are just so slammed for time and we receive so many emails. So this is just a really fun and engaging way to have your email stand out, whether you're using this with colleagues or students. Now, I do want to point out that if you are in the quick compose mode, which creates a new email in the bottom right corner of your Gmail home screen. And if you have more than one extension that can be used in your Gmail, you'll notice there will be an icon which allows you to select more tools. And you will have to click on that to find your Bitmoji if you have other stuff. So, for instance, I've got the Loom recording icon. So... When I'm in the quick compose in the bottom right corner, I have to click on more tools to find the Bitmoji. However, if I click on the arrows to go full screen, you'll see that now both of my tools just show up right in the email compose. So whether you're using Bitmoji in your classroom already, or if you're thinking about starting to use Bitmoji, adding your Bitmojis into your email is a really fun and engaging way to spice your emails up. Now, if you are using Bitmoji in your email, please let us know how your colleagues and students like it in the comments section below. And if you know of any teachers that could benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.